Okay. Today I'm folding origami envelopes, and I don't think I will keep this first over. So the fact that I sound sleepy or magic path problem. First is figure out how I did this in the first place. To the pinch. because I can't find the instructions. Fold up there. Once I remember how to do it, it'll all come back to me. I am 80% sure. And then fold up to the half mark. Sure. And then what? Fold up. I'm keeping this in shot. I probably not. I'm on that corner. Fold up. That corner. This is either going to be right on or so off. Oh, well then. Decide where. Oh. So there's the pinch. Hold this down to the pinch. And then hold that to the line. folded in our blue one. Yeah. That's fine. Baby blue, so let's do a box of paper over here. Let's do pink. Let's see if I can do it without referring back. So do a pinch. I'm not folding two at once. Okay. 
Since I have this one out, and I seem to be doing two of every color, let me just get a blue out, and then I can have two of those, two of those, and this. I can fold back up. And stick in. This is not my original origami um, pattern, of course. I found this online. I found a really great WikiHow article that just showed me what to do. There are things like this kind of thing I don't like learning from a video because I always have to stop the video to go back and be like, okay, now what? Because I don't follow them very well. I don't know what the deal is, but all right. Two. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I just even with like Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, any of the programs that I use for work, when I need to learn a new skill, I want to have it, I want text instructions. I know videos are, videos are clearly a thing, obviously, as you watch me making a video, or you watch the finished video. Um, but to, to learn how to do stuff like this, I really like the, the text instructions. Gotta try very hard to keep this in frame. I keep pulling it close to myself and that's not gonna be good for anybody because then you can't see it. And you risk seeing it my stomach or my very hairy shirt. Okay. All right. So now we got purple, blue, pink. I'll number these later. Let's see here. Let's do a couple of greens. One. I'm not doing in these any particular collection of colors. I just like to have, they just are in a particular order in the box. And that's the order I'm pulling them out in. So I realized at some point I should do my unboxing video. Maybe I'll tack that on the end of this and then I'll use the chapters for once in my life. I used to be really good at using chapters for my videos. Not sure what happened. Not sure what happened there. But I forgot. Nah. I think it's that I'm editing on my phone. 
It's a little bit diff difficult, a little bit more difficult to get uh, the timestamps or to remember to get the timestamps. Maybe it's just a me problem. Whatever. At any rate, I'm not 100% sure with the content I'm making right now that timestamps are particularly going to help me or my audience watch my content because it is not like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. It is very much just bleh. Here is the content. If I get to the point where I'm doing chapters, I will add chapters. So one of the instructions I saw when I was looking for the instructions on how to do this, so that I wouldn't have to figure it out myself, I saw that they were doing solid folds all the way across instead of just corner folds. I really like just the little You know, pinches. Um, it makes the whole thing just look a little more put together because those are the sections that get tucked away inside. Like I'm about to fold over this pinch right here. Bam! And this pinch is going to get folded over too. Look at that. There it is. So you, I mean, technically you see it on this side, but it seems a little purposeful. It's not across the front though. That's what I'm getting at. Maybe I will use this voiceover and use this audio. Put some music in the background. Crap out the stuff that doesn't make sense. So put this in the bag so they can start squishing. It is when I use not janky supplies. There goes the water again. Boy, it's warm in here. There's times like this when I realize, you know, I'm using a lunch meat container to hold my envelopes. And I use a used plastic bag. I'm reusing a plastic bag to hold on to my folded end results that I have to remind myself, reduce, reuse, recycle, because otherwise I get the urge to go take my happy little butt over to Walmart and pick up an index card box so that they can be, my envelopes can be in a uh, quote unquote proper box. And then every time I get on Etsy, which is, frighteningly often, I have to remind myself, Nikki, you do not need the 100 envelope challenge binder yet. You haven't fi finished folding the 100 envelope challenge, uh, 100 envelopes for the challenge you're doing right now. <sighs> reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle. I already own these things. Stop being tempted. Well, I guess I can't stop myself from being tempted, but stop trying to convince yourself that you need the polished perfection of someone else's handiwork on Etsy or a folder that, um, a, I'm sorry, a box. 
that someone else has put together or, you know, with those neat little laminated envelopes. Those are super cute too. When somebody unstuffs those, it's like, oh, I should do that. But no, no, I have things. Even when I see someone taking regular size envelopes for their 100 envelope challenge, I'm like, oh, that looks so neat and clean and precise. I should totally do that instead. Instead, just finish the one you've got, kid. Yes, I refer to myself as kid. No, I am not a child. It's midlife adulting, not teenage adulting. I told somebody yesterday that I was firmly in midlife. And they're like, no, you're not. I'm 65. I'm in midlife. And I said, I'm 45. If I'm in the middle, like if I make it to 90, this is it. This is the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sweet lady. There's nothing wrong with midlife either. I think her reaction was um, a reaction to the connotation that midlife has a negative, like I'm referring to myself as an old fart or something. No, it's just what it is. I am, I'm not exactly uncaring that I'm at midlife. Oh, don't slip out of here. No, go back in. No, I'm not ready for you yet. Go back in, go back in. Sorry, struggling with my paper box. Um, and it's not that I don't care that I'm at midlife. Like, but like I, I might as well enjoy it as much as I can. It's like, it's like the fancy China. We have my, no, I'm sorry. I say we like I have anything. I don't. Uh, my family, and I'm not talking about my household. I'm talking about a parents, have fancy China. A, a lot of families have fancy China. And it gets pulled out on Thanksgivings where there's a lot of family, right? It gets pulled out for the fancy dinner. So so does the silver. Silver a silver silverware doesn't come out until it's a fancy occasion. Then everything gets hand washed and everything gets put back into the little, you know, bags and stuff that it, that it came in. Right. I feel like you need to enjoy that shit. Right. Like why isn't it getting used every day? Why isn't the, you know, the memories that are attached to it getting enjoyed every single day, like use the fancy dishes, put them in the dishwasher. It's going to be okay. Is it going to take some of the pattern off? I don't know, maybe, but is it going to get clean faster so you can keep using it? Yes. Why was I telling that analogy? Oh, I get sidetracked so easy. Ugh. Right. That's right. I was comparing it to my age. <laughs> Midlife. Enjoy it. Just, just stop worrying about where you were. Stop worrying about where you're gonna be. Enjoy what you have. Um, if you can enjoy what you have, do your best. Like that's what I'm just, I'm, that's, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just trying to do my best and I am not always successful at enjoying things where I am. Sometimes I really feel it and I'm just like in a rut, in a bad mood, um, in a funk. And it's hard to enjoy the fact that I'm 45. 
Actually, I'm not terribly thrilled about being 46. I don't know why. That just doesn't seem as much fun as 45. Somebody else just said that. Alexis Eldridge just said that in the video of hers I just watched. She's just turned 26, and she feels like 27 is a fun age, and 25 is a fun age. She's not excited about being 26, which she currently is. I don't blame her. Maybe I picked up that from her. Credit what credit is due. <sighs> this is a nice color. So, oddly enough, it looks a little more uh, yellow on screen than it really is. But this is a very deep orange and not the kind of Halloween orange that it is. I have not been able to escape almost my entire life orange and black as school colors. And it's funny, as it started with my dad. My dad's high school team, their school colors were orange and black. And if that's not funny enough, when I went to high school in St. Louis, my school colors were orange and black. If you're familiar with St. Louis and you can put those dots together, good on you. Uh, so then halfway through high school, I moved to Iowa. I can say that because I was born and raised in Iowa. I can diss on Iowa all I want. I just want to share that. I don't feel like I can do that to where I live right now, but Iowa for sure. It's so lonely in Iowa. It's just so lonely. Anyway, I know somebody I watch, Life in Envelopes, actually lives in Iowa, and so I will stop now. At any rate, I moved up to Iowa. Sure enough, not only did they still have orange and black as the school colors, but the school song was the same. The tune was the same. And since I was in band, that was advantageous because then I didn't have to learn a new song. And then, because it doesn't stop there, my kids. Not the first school that they went to, but the school that is we're in the district for now. Their colors. Guess what? Orange and black. I cannot avoid it. I cannot get away from it. And honestly, even though it's very Halloween-y, I don't even care. It's not bad. Orange and black is a nice combination. And this particular orange envelope, although it looks oh, so much more yellow on the screen than it really is, it's more red in real life. Is there a way to like, let me just try something real quick. Oh yeah, no. Okay, let's turn this lights back on. Yeah, it's much more red. Um, you might have been able to see that for a split second, but it doesn't matter. These are the colors. These are the colors. The color of my desk is a very dark wood shade from Ikea. I do happen to love this desk. It's six feet long. I like... My keyboard is just right here out of shot. So fine. So very fine. So I'm getting a lot of feedback on my desk cleaning video. And the feedback is that people are enjoying it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a very evil laugh. People are enjoying it. And I love that because um, I have so much more to clean. And the fact that people are telling me, Oh my gosh, how satisfying is it to watch other people clean their stuff and everything? It's like, oh, guess who has more to clean? That's right. I do. So much more. Is there really two shades of orange here? Did I really skip? Oh. <sighs> There really are two shades of orange. Have I ever noticed that? They look the same. Screw it, they're the same. We're moving on to yellow. <sighs> the 
there's so much more to clean. So I'm thrilled because that means there will be people who enjoy that content and it will not be ignored. Not that it matters if people don't watch my cleaning content. Like not everybody's like, ooh, you, you're a hot mess. I don't want to watch you clean your stuff. I'm not a hot mess. I am a normal mess. I am an average mess. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being average. I think there are plenty of people who are a bigger mess. And I know some of them. And there are plenty of people who are a less mess. And good on them. I envy you because clutter... Clutter screws with your head, it screws with my head, it becomes overwhelming, and then, yeah, it just contributes to bleh. I'm so sorry, it contributes to bleh. <laughs> I am definitely keeping this narration. <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. That's a cute movie, by the way. Hotel Transylvania. Actually, speaking of movies, completely unrelated. Nimona? Oh, my goodness. Did I mention this before? Nimona. I, holy cow. No, I, I talked to somebody at work. I retell stories, guys. Um, so if, I've re, if I tell a story that I've already told... This is just who I am. It's going to happen. You're welcome to skip ahead, but you have to guess where, because guess who doesn't have chapters? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, Nimona on Netflix. Uh, now, if you don't have Netflix, if you dumped it because of the whole password sharing thing, like, I don't blame you. But holy cow, it's a Netflix original. It's animated. And it is, so I'm a crier. I bawled. I bawled. I cried. Tears rushing down my cheeks, floating down my neck because I couldn't catch them in time because the tissues weren't nearby and I was trying to not be, you know, obvious that I was bawling my head off. Three different times I cried. Three different times. And the first time it was just little sniffles. And the second time it was gut wrenching um it was gut wrenching and fantastic oh now my son watched it and said it, it he's like it almost made me cry a little okay it made me cry three times sir i say my alarm just went off and completely interrupted my story as I was saying, it almost made my son cry. So for non-criers, it will almost make you cry, potentially. And for criers, like me, it's going to make you cry a bunch. And if you're in the middle of the road, uh, yeah, you know, TBD to be determined. I think I'm going to finish up these two because my alarm went off. I don't know how long I've been at this, but it is clip. Didn't I just talk about that not being a crease? Ugh. Whatever. Not going to be mad about that. It just is what it is. Um. Anyway, Nimona. N-I-M-O-N-A. My eldest, it made them cry. My youngest doesn't like the animation style and so is having a hard time getting through it. Um... I didn't even occur to me that the animation style was any different. I think that it's all computer generated and not drawn or there, there is something about it that just has a different look, but I didn't mind it. That didn't affect my enjoyment at all. So since that alarm went off, it's going to go off again in nine minutes, which is why I'm just finishing these two up. Also, it's warm. Also, it's seven o'clock and I need to start getting ready for work. Come on now. There you go. I'm not going to number these right away. I'm going to come back and do more of this, whether I do it on camera to keep myself accountable or whether 
I do it while I'm watching movies just to get it done. I don't know. This is working out very well. Um, although I did want to do some unboxings. Maybe I'll do that next anyway and just make sure to turn the alarm off. That's a possibility. But I need to do this more frequently so I don't forget how between folding. <sighs> I hope everybody's having a good day. Or a great day even. I hope your day is full of surprises, good ones. Um, I hope your day is involves some treats for you, whether that's special news or uh, a snack that you really love that you haven't had in a while. I hope, I hope you have a great day. That's it. If you're not having a great day, I hope you have a good day. And if you aren't having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. And that's the last one for now. Bye.